Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the last night cap of 2021. Uh, I've got a little bit done in the workshop, not too much. I've been trying to spend more time with the family than I have in the workshop. Uh, I got a fantastic present off the wife. She bought us an airline reel, which I've wanted for years. You know, you pull it and the airline comes in and out. Anyway, my son comes up and gives us a hand and install it and I have a right laugh. Uh, I enjoy working with my son, it's good fun. He's got the same sort of sense of humour as me. And if you can understand two Geordies arguing, well, you're a better man than most people. Um, that's about it, really. Oh, last weekend, or last, the la in the last nightcap, I did that uh, nut for the lads motorcycle headstock. Unfortunately, it wouldn't screw on because I made the bastard thing left hand thread. I didn't realise until I started editing the video and uh, loads of people were saying this left hand thread. So anyway, I, I don't make another one, but I show how to cut the thread right hand um, by using the tool upside down in the, the back of the tool post. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, let's just get on with it. Right, the wife's bought us a nice early reel for Christmas. My little lad Alan's come to help us install it. So we've decided the workshop's untidy, it wants tidying up. I'm going to put it up there on that pillar and then it's going to be plumbed straight in the compressor. So I'm going to lift it up, mark some holes, and Alan's going to show us how to go on with the masonry drills. Aye. Lower, higher. You want Aye, to be in the middle of a brick, like. But yeah. Is that the middle of a brick? Aye. Okay. One there. And one. Probably there. We'll just measure the distance between them two holes. Hundred and eighty. Pick that up. For you, ten mil. Ready to better. <laughs> right, try this one. That's got the end on. Not got a good end on. It's got a good end. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Using a toy drill. That's a reach size. Try that. Is that neat, like? Right. Flatten the battery like. Right. To build a big C. Alan. Alan. I've got a hundred and ten volt hammer drill, you know. So what are you using this for? Exactly. Right, we've got some proper yeah. gear now. As we had to get some decent drills, as all my drills are shite as far as drilling brickwork's concerned. I'm going to put two new holes in. I've marked one, one there, and the next one is 185 up from that, which is there. So they're going to be the two new holes, and they're both into brick. That's solid brick there, and that's the mortar. And when they built this garage, they didn't really. Waste too much cement. So we've got the two holes marked for when he comes back. <laughs> that one's going in quite nicely. It's obviously a softer brick. And that one there is an engineering brick, that's really hard. Better. Right. I'll 
it's getting quite a substantial hold. And it's actually slotted holes in the the brackets, so it'll see on the top of that. Right, so that's one decent one in. It's the chuck's shite. You think? That'll do. Right, hold on. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Should, I just, should I just weld it to that? Wait, I? I've never seen such a performance in all my life. What you shouldn't have done there was... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Breathe in. Breathe in. Oh! It's hardly gone in anywhere. What's that bastard made of? Ridiculous this. I'll just put a bracket up. How far is it though? Not far at all. <laughs> Not far away. <laughs> right, that looks funny. Then I used uh, about a 10 mil one somewhere. <laughs> nice and gentle. Look at that. Look again. There you go, there you go, there you go. Look at that angle of that. Right, spot on. He's twatting with a hammer, right? You didn't need to twat him with a hammer. Yeah, I know, but... Just tap him with a hammer, I'd be all right. Oh, the, I the, died, just tap The washers are the wrong way around, man, the flat way. Oh, God, oh, mate. The flat, because the washers are the wrong way around. Right, they're going to get a good hold, them bastards. Okay. I'm going to try and lift it up. Yeah. Hold on then. There you go, that's pretty good, that. That bottom one's Mr. Washer, though. Oh, the, they're both Mr. Washer. That's so what your get, fingers are for. Right, just put it on, it'll be out right where it is. Breathe them with a hammer. You can't breathe them with a hammer, man. You can put someone to stand on, actually. I'd get the canny grip that way. Eh? Right, you take the bottom, it wasn't my arms, I tell you. <laughs> I think it's a superb Christmas present, like, isn't it? just realised that the airline my wife bought is 3 8 BSP and all my fittings are quarter. Well, I've got an adapter here, 3 8 adapter, it's 3 8 to 3 8 so I can probably drill that, tap it quarter and that's going to get this end to quarter BSP and I'll do something similar with the other end.
tried its best. I've actually drilled at 11, it should be 11.2. I'll try it once more, and then we'll put the right drill through it. You can only get away with 11 mil. That's better, we're in now. tape on the, the threads. This actually came with the hose reel kit, the roll of PTFE tape which is very handy. It goes onto there. That screws into there. I'll go and screw these together on the vise, and then the last one screws onto that. I'm going to get loads of complaints because I'm using adjustable spanners. Well, not complaints, but comments. Right, that's all that needs because I tape our fittings. So that's one end sorted out. Once again I need to go from that which is 3 8 BSP taper to 3 8 BSP parallel and I haven't got a, any adapters to fit that, I've got no 3 8 adapters left. I had thought about drilling and tapping that 3 8 but give up on the idea. I've got a bit of brass bar and I've got a lace so I'll make one. 3 8 a quarter, reduce it out of brass and that's going to be the joiner piece onto there. It's a pit shard and I asked her to tour that quarter BSP, but never mind, she did buy an airline. Quarter BSP part first. No pellet wheel that stops the tap from snatching. I'm just going to pull that down, down a little bit, take some of that off before I finally part it off. I think I've left enough material on there to be able to do it. Here's BSP tape on now. Right. Because that thread there is quarter BSP parallel, put a doughty washer on 
and that will seal on that face on the end of there and that doesn't look too ugly we'll nip that up and then that should be good to go that's an outlet pipe from the compressor little water trap cup regulator and that hose there goes up to the shed where the plasma cutter is so I'm going to plug the new air line into there like that it fits quite neatly and I can't hear anything leaking so it must be good to go it's a nice flexible air line as well I like it then the idea is once you finish with it Coils itself away nice and neat tiny out of the road, ready for the next time. Last week I made that nut for the lads motorcycle headstock and I thought I'd made a decent job of it. So I started to watch the video and edit it and I realised I'd cut the bastard thing left hand thread. I had the lathe running forward and I cut on this side from the inside going out over. That makes left hand thread. The way to do it is the lathe still running forward but you have the tooling upside down and you cut from the inside out over. The reason you cut from the inside out over is if you are going to cut into a blind hole, which this is a dead blind hole, it's easier or it's a lot safer for the tool to come out and you've got all the time in the world to stop it. Well, when it's going in, it tends to speed up. So what I'm going to do is cut the threads right from the inside edge as though it was a blind hole. Normally you would use a bed stop on the lathe, but I lent my bed stop to somebody to make one and it hasn't been returned so I'm going to have to rely on the midday DRO. So I need to touch this off, put some marks on, find things exactly where we are so we know where the tool is. Then what I'm going to do is cut the 40 by 1.5 mil thread, the way it's supposed to be done. Anyway, if it was easy, everybody would do it. I suppose it is easy if you do it all the time, but I don't do it all the time. Right John. So we need to know when that touches. Bring the camera in so what sort of shot I can get of it. Right, I'm just gonna turn this by hand until I see it. Barely touch. Right there, that's even the finest of lanes. So zero. The day I wrote that. Next thing is I need to find the bottom of the hole. This is where you would put your bed stop on normally that I haven't got any more. So once again, zero the day I wrote. Okay, so I'm going to bring it into my zero and I'm going to cut it down to a full depth which is 0.75 of a mil. Okay, so it's cutting now. Right, point seven five. So that's down to the full depth of thread. So it's cut right up against the shoulder, and that is the full depth of thread cut there, which is point seven five, which is one point five mil of thread. I've got the gearbox set up I need to make sure that things are running in the right direction. Right, so it's into zero that touches the base of the job. There. Into zero on the bottom one. That's the start of the thread there. I put a half mil cut on. 0.25. Which is a half mil cut. So I'm going to engage this on the whole number on the dial indicator. Right, so that's the first pass. Certainly cutting the thread. Comes back in to the beginning again. I'm 
Look at that. Half in the other cut. Punch the cane. Back in at zero. But normally you'd have to hit your carriage stop. Which I'm not going to get back, so I'll have to make another one. It's there. And that's point seven five. That's full depth of cut now. Right, that's quite a nice spin there. I'm going to do it again. A spring pass. This is where DRO. You can do it with the dials on the lathe, but the DRO makes it so much easier. Right, so that's definitely a right hand thread. Now if we go back to our original zero, I'll be able to take any little whiskers off that have been caused by cutting a thread. Not cutting much, but it will be cutting down to full depth. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the well wishes that are still coming in. This has been the first Christmas for me without my dad. Um, been very strange, very strange indeed. But when you've got family around you, it uh, it certainly helps. I keep on saying these things, but honestly, if you've got friends or family you haven't seen for a long time for some stupid reason, ring them up. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, all the best for the new year and we'll see you in the new year.